Okay. Um, <clears throat> anybody, we, I, I think we still uh, have someone trying to log in. Maybe we will send the invitation again. Just, um, by the way, the same code actually uh, for every class. So I don't know if you still depend on the last year. I got it. Thank you, Henry. We got it. Yeah, uh, I got Barbara just complained uh, about uh, putting find that. Uh, let me see if I can resend that. Just for I'm in Henry, thank you. Oh, you're in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm waiting for you actually. I don't want to uh miss anybody because uh, we have a very interesting le lesson today. Okay, I'm going to share some pictures first. Okay. Um, to, okay. Today's uh, master study is a uh, master. Uh, oh Trying to figure out this. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, <clears throat> Master Dong Chouping, um, he is uh, um, a very um, famous uh, uh, landscape painter as well as uh, a uh, uh, painter of literati painting. Uh, of bamboo, orchid, and uh, um, plum blossom. Let me record it. I think I forgot that. Oh, yes, we are recording. Okay. Sorry. Um, so he's known for his uh, bamboo, orchid, and the plum blossom. Um, he rarely does uh, any birds because uh, he thinks the painting should uh, uh, represent the universal Tao or the way uh, of a creation. The birds is uh, uh, a minor subject matter in that uh, regards. Uh, he does wonderful pine trees. Have you ever, uh, have you watched the video I sent you? Um, yes, okay. yes. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So uh, he also discussed uh, uh, what he, you know, his mind process, his painting process in a philosophical um, way. He's a philosopher in aesthetics and especially in the uh, Eastern tradition, but he also studied uh, is what's the expand rental? <laughs> Can you help me someone? The universal language school he attended? Esperanto. Esperanto, yeah, Esperanto is, the, we call it uh, the universal language. And he studied English, Germany, um, before that, uh, for, for the study of uh, the, the uh, Esperanto. And uh, he became an economist, uh, a graduate from uh, uh, Nankai University uh, Economics. Uh, uh, but uh, he devoted to painting at, uh, uh, right after his uh, graduation. He, he became a professional painter. And uh, he um, uh, he became a general editor of this this institution, Rong Bao Zai. Have you ha ever heard of this, Barbara? Rong Bao Zai? Uh, probably, but I don't remember. Yeah, this is the most famous uh, publishing house 
art gallery, art collect, uh, art auction house, um, art supplier, art studio, whatever you call it, Rongbao that is uh, just like a master seeds garden menu. This this series has uh, uh, hundreds of uh, you know painting menu painting menu of of Rongbao Zai. He is the editor actually, Dong Xiaoping. Um, he had several volumes in this uh, uh, series. Okay, um, so he does a wonderful landscape painting, especially Huangshan, the Yellow Mountain. He visited uh, in the early or mid fifties, uh, and since he it become his uh, uh, main subject matter in landscape painting. So we're going to paint um, his uh, uh, round form uh, landscape today. Uh, in the concept of Tai Chi, you know, uh, the Tai Chi symbol is uh, uh, yin and yang fish. Let me find that, too. let me explain a little bit. And then we'll listen to his lectures when he talked about that concept applied to, uh, <coughs> to painting. Okay. Uh, look at uh, this is an ancient uh, uh, diagram in the in the found in the uh, ancient book Taoist book text. Uh, you can see the. Uh, the yin and the yang, uh, which, which is yin and which is yang? Can anybody tell me? The right. Huh? What's the answer? Yin, black? Yin is female, yang is male. Yeah, in this illustration, <laughs> black represents yang and uh, white represents yin. There is also a fish eye. So in the yang, there is a um, yin, which is the moon. And uh, in the yang, there is a, a, a yin spot uh, eye, fish eye, is uh, um, the, uh, the sun. OK, so uh, this is actually is originated by observation of uh, the shadow. Um, if you put a bamboo um, stem on the on the ground, you will see a shadow. The shortest is the summer uh, solstice, and uh, we're about reaching the longest um, shadow. Uh, in I think this year's winter solstice is uh, the, the December twenty second or twenty third, right? So. Um, if you if you trace this, it will become uh, the Tai Chi symbol, uh, like this. Okay, they, that they measure that, and this is uh, some modern uh, teacher is doing the exercise for his students as experiment. Um, so we're not going to involve this, but uh, the the concept is Yin and Yang uh, is the uh, what we call it in philosophy. Um, indispensable to, I mean, <laughs> inseparable. Uh, we call it non-dualism. Uh, you know, the major uh, this, uh, religious system or belief system in the world are non-dualism, which is no separation of God and uh, uh, evil, uh, good and evil. And, uh, um, you know, like yin yang, uh, coexist uh, like a unit of uh, the opposites is uh, uh, in Zen, uh, you know, no differentiation between subject and, and the object. Uh, in Buddhism, in um, many old, uh, you might call primitive uh, uh, belief systems. Uh, okay, let's go back to, I think it's uh, time, if you have watched his uh, painting video, I'm going to show you the, uh, the explanation of his uh, thought uh, process. Uh, so let me share with you that, that uh, 
the sec, you know, the there's a link I sent you in email that is in Chinese. So it's about uh, 20 minutes. So I'm going to interpret that while we uh, watch. So uh, if, if you look at this uh, cover, it, it's, it's look like the yin yang symbol, right? Okay, I'm going to find the, find the, the fattest way to probably go to our website. Sorry about uh, Chinese brush painting dot name dot com. So we'll go to the all my write up is on online, either in the email or the discussion forum. So I'm going to go there and find the link. Lesson 53, here we go, okay. There's the link. <clears throat> um, should I pop it up? Let me please see, full, ver full screen version. Okay, I'm gonna share this screen. There's some, uh, did I, uh, okay, I didn't share the sound. Uh, um, I know some, a few of you can, can um, understand a little Chinese or uh, Chinese speaking. So I'm going to share the sound and uh, I'll do the interpretation for those who don't understand Chinese. I cannot hear the sound. Can you? Oh, here. Can you hear the sound? No. Oh. No. I'm not praying. Okay, I'll skip this and just. Uh, uh, I think uh, when he talked about the painting itself. Okay, here we go. The Chinese painting cannot separate from China. That is the Tai Chi philosophy. Uh, Tai Chi his sound, I can't oh, hear you very well. Oh, okay. okay. Let me turn that. Um, let me use that. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, turn down the volume, maybe. Like this. It's the unit of the opposites. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Better. Better. You, you have to have the opposite pose uh, uh, consider the two, two sides, not just the one element. One side is heavy, the other side will be lighter. There's a yang side and there's a yin side. Together, they, they uh, form the word. It's the opposite pose, uh, but uh, they unite to become a whole wholeness. From the, the large composition to details are all based on this. 
什么银河系啊，什么等等。The our universe. Henry, I'm still having trouble hearing you. I can hear him very loudly, but I can't hear you too well. Let me let me let me do something else. I'm going to use uh uh um. Okay, let me put、uh, myself on the. Let me try this, so I can cannot hear my. Thank you. 另一方面，宇宙间的事物，要是无限的小，小到无限，眼睛看不见，手抓不见。So,、uh, in microscope, the same principle applies. No, he's still very loud. And all my all my painting applies this uh, uh, Yin Yang philosophy. For example, if you split the painting into half, left, left and right, the left side is dense, the right side is sparse. The unity of the spar、uh, sparsity and the density、uh, become the composition. The main trunk going up. If you paint another trunk upward on the right side, it will be.、Uh, Equivalent. So, so I did a diagonal branch. If the if you assume the left side is yang, the left the right will be yin. If you look at the tonality, they are dark and the light. These are the, another pair of opposites. If you only use dark, it's all、uh, black. If you use only light, there's nothing to see. You it must have a light in the dark and dark with the light intervened. The size large and small also another、um, pair of opposites. There are two trunks going up. I have I have a horizontal、um, branch here. The the vertical and the horizontal. The horizontal branch bring the verticals together. That's about composition. Now let's talk about、uh, the the brushwork. Hmm. You have to consider why this stroke is thicker or thinner. The thin and the thick is another、uh, yin yang balance. You see, one side is thicker than the other. It's the unity of yin and yang. If I paint a thick on the left and I do a th another thick on the right, it will be not good. 
Why I leave the blank? Because I leave the if I if I uh, color the trunk, it will block the um, the view. So I want it to see through. Another example. The most difficult part are the branches. There are qi movements. The light branches help to unify the composition. The light represented the branches behind. It creates depth. The dark yang in the front, the in uh, uh, the back. Let's talk about the details. This one is diagonal. If I paint another diagonal branch on top, it will be parallel. So this one is a uh, more um, leveled. The top one is more leveled. Although they are both uh, mid-sized branches, but they have different uh, angles. There is a principle in the world uh, with all uh, plants or trees. They all grow towards the sun. So the downward uh, branch must uh, turn up in the end. If, if all the branches uh, down, downward, you will become dead, like a um, like dead branches. How to deal with these two parallel lines? We make a crossing branch behind that connects the two. This, this downward branch across both the horizontal branches to bring them together. So when I paint, I have a main strategy. And when I execute that accordingly, Within that framework, I call it a strategy. When you come to tactics, the relationship between strategy and tactics, my general idea is the tech, uh, strategy. But when I paint, it, I may have a heavy stroke, heavy handed stroke. I, my plan was to have a thin one, but uh, I made a thicker one. What to do if I got a, a thicker stroke? You must uh, change your plan according to, to this. 
So the next stroke will be thinner. Even though I thought to, I, I should have a thinner one to begin with. So you have to adjust to the situation. If you paint the second stroke in the same thickness, they will be the same. So you, you have to vary that one above. Yeah, here we have the thinner strokes. It's all because the first stroke it was too heavy, so I made all this thinner stroke to, to um, adjust, to balance that. Now I um, uh, turns to, it becomes thicker again. That's the Tai Chi in practice. How they come? It's the rhythm, same as in music. All human, when we heard the music, we'll, or we will we'll do this. You don't have to understand what the music is about, but you will start waving like this. And you'll have the beats like uh, with in your hand. This is this rhythm is uh, exists in our uh, in southern things in the universe. We have to create art based on the universal um, law, a principle. Um, I'm going to uh, show you another landscape painting. He talks about. Uh, let's see. Let me stop sharing for a moment. Let me know if you have any questions so far. Is this good to, to continue in this way? Yes, very good. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, he, he's the only uh, master who can um, not only uh, talk about uh, theory or the way, but also um, explain it uh, with his uh, painting or calligraphy. So um, it solves many uh, doubts I had when after I viewing this. This is actually relatively new and for the first time when I prepared this class, I come across with this. Okay. Skip the ads. Okay, I need to share this one. Can you mute yourself, please? I heard some background noise. Dark, light, uh, thick, and thin. Uh, dark and light is a uh, uh, tonality. Dark and the light are also applied with a brush. Why this dark, why that is light? It has to do with yin yang philosophy. If you apply only dark uh, on this block, on this rock, it would have no yin yang. You must leave a little white within the dark. Also, if you want to make the dark really dark, you must uh, keep a white next to it. If you fill in all the white spot between strokes, you will become not, not dark. So you must keep some white. 
this side, this spot is dark. Because of this, this is Tai Chi balance. The light shows on the right because of this dark. Always two opposites. Yin and Yang. Unity of Yin and Yang. From a small area uh, to the whole painting. For example, if I split this painting into half, let's look at this, the top side, upside. Assume the upper side is yang or yin. The host is in the middle. It's a, um, the guest is diagonal. This uh, host is uh, more vertical. If you assume the Upper side, upper side is uh, yang, the lower side will be yin. The dark on the bottom. The, the movement of uh, the diagonal goes like a Z. The upper and the lower white space are connected by a center channel of a white. If you want this uh, uh, rock to pop, you must put that uh, dark rock behind. If you don't have that dark rock behind, it, it won't pop. The dark against the light make it pop. The yang and yin contrast make it pop. The right has nothing, it disappears. And the uh, right, left side is uh, solid. This is solid. The other side is uh, void. It's a uh, uh, yin and yang. The tree, the pine tree. Plants or, or trees must uh, uh, accept sunshine to grow. However, it, it, it grow from the um, in the, among the rock, so you won't let it uh, grow uh, all directions. So it must grow outside, outward, but you cannot um, grow all the way down without uh, holding in the back. So when we paint, we must uh, have a pouring back force against that falling tendency. If you do not uh, have that opposite movement, it will become uh, falling. Why this branch is downward? Because the gravity. The gravity pulls it down. 
这三朵米，这少呢？The upper branches are more leveled because the, uh, the long branch has more uh, gravity. But the tree has this, this uh, power um, against that towards the sun. So the two forces must be coexist. When I plant, I become the tree like this. I push the brush like this. So that's what we call all the downstrokes must have an upward tendency to hold it. Pulling and pushing together. Do you understand this? Good. Yeah, every stroke, like a calligraphy. The simultaneously, two forces. The downward and the upward, uh, the must be delivered together. Otherwise, your branch will be dead. You have to, when you press down, you have to hold it back. To pull, pull and push together. So um, it's like against the direction you move. When, when you paint, you must forget yourself and become your object. It's like uh, the actor entering the role. When I paint the tree, I imagine my nerve feels like uh, the pine. You might not uh, recognize it, but I feel like it's my brain. It's very quiet. You cannot uh, make any uh, second voice. Your mind must be calm and empty because your hand cannot listen to more than one comments. When I paint this painting, I didn't have a plan. I don't have a preliminary sketch, a draft. I don't have an idea where it goes when I begin. I started with this uh, few strokes. Then I think what I can do is that I have to follow that. To follow, to follow those dark strokes, to take advantage of those, to match that. I use the opposite element to balance that. Because they are thick, so I painted the light on the right. If I paint in the same thickness, it will be to um, equilibrate. If this is the yin, the other is yang. If, that, if uh, the thick, the dark is yang, the thing is uh, yin, just the opposite. So after the first stroke, you think in the opposite um, to make it out, to match that. After I painted the rock, I, I was... So after the first rock on the left, I added the, the uh, right side, the white rock. 
那这儿怎么办呢？ Then I added the, the dark rocks behind. If you imagine without that、uh, dark peaks, you want to、uh, make sense. So I added those. 说每一张画，我这个写字画，我全是用的这个。So my painting are all derived from the principles of yin yang balance. 那这个呢，又是互相生活的。在这个时候，你把这一种低调当做阳，而在另一幅画上，这一种也可能。You must note that this dark strokes is yang. In this painting, but maybe in another painting, it's not. Uh, um, it's all change, changeable. What I said now would be different after、uh, five minutes.、Uh, so you must、uh, um, adjust accordingly. The yin yang may shift. So to paint、uh, according to the universal law is number one principle. Like I said, all the plants have an upward tendency to receive sunshine. But although they have、uh, conditions、um, like a rock above it, above it, but eventually it will grow out and grow up. So even to turn over a stone on, on top. See, any plant when you when it starts. To have life, it bound to to die. So I don't mind if I die in three years. I don't、uh, care if、uh, people、uh, saying you will live one hundred years old. I don't mind. Because we are bound to die. That's the principle of law of the universal. The same principle applies to everything. We cannot live without the. Um, okay, I I will skip this painting if we don't have time.、Uh, I mean, we、we'll, we can come back if we have time later. But、uh, I'm going to、uh, show you another important aspect、uh, in his、uh, painting process, which is mental representation. I call it.、Uh, let's see. He mentioned a little bit about becoming the tree when you paint the tree. Generally,精神呢，状态呢，你也得揉，但是你这个揉两个揉揉下去行不行？不行，这个揉这个还得有刚，没有刚来体验，它本身是柔的，柔，中间绝不会弯的。那么这个呢，就是要一画一切事物，
you have to um, make an expression according to the story. If you hear uh, the story says you must cry uh, three minutes, I mean, three seconds, uh, you, you, cr you cry for three minutes, it will destroy the story. So uh, there's a... If you laugh, smile or uh, laughter are different. You must have the experience of life. Another thing is to, to enter the your role, but you have to keep a distance from the, the life. That becomes art. You cannot uh, uh, just uh, directly imitate life. You must keep a distance from life. Otherwise, you cannot control. You must know you are actor or actress. But you are also a role in the story. The director of the role. I also a director of the actor. <laughs> the post, uh, the gesture, gesture, uh, gesture could be exaggerated. For example, the orchid. It has a long and a short. It has a gesture. You have, we must idealize the gesture. If you look at the real grass, it goes everywhere, all directions. The reality is uh, all the leaves are the same length, but not beautiful. So we need to simplify it to, cut, to make it more idealized. We get rid of the unwanted uh, part. The interest of things has to do with the uh, structure. The relationship between rocks and the grass. To put a rock in the painting is different than just the, uh, the grass. I'm going to skip this part. I try. We must uh, make an abstraction out of uh, the reality. Why the traditional opera has an artistic taste better than modern movies? Because they don't copy the everyday life. But every action has the substance of uh, everyday life. So we, we know what it is.
but not copy of the everyday life. So abstraction is more artistic than realism. So you cannot make a movie um, out of a traditional opera because every action is not a everyday life. It doesn't look like a real life. If you put uh, in a movie, it will be strange. But on the stage, it's uh, more artistic. The painting is the same. We have, we have to paint the substance, the essence. It's a union of uh, subject and object. The human and the natural integration. The feeling of human and the form of uh, nature. <coughs> If I painted the orchid like a picture, like a photograph, it's dead. Yeah, you have to abstract to uh, use a synthetic uh, eye to um, cut, out, cut out the leaves. So what's the Beauty is another big story, a big theory to study. What is the beauty? Um, their illusions, the illusion of the illusions is very important for visual artists. Beauty has an illusion. For example, a straight line. If you paint a long straight line, if you look at a straight line from distance, it's distorted. If you look at it from up, uh, from down to up, you look at it doesn't like a straight. So we must uh, keep the psychological truth, not the illusion. In Chinese painting, we don't paint illusions. How do you practice the scale? You don't have to use a brush and a paper. You practice your, you practice your uh, nerve like this. If I practice uh, a stroke, uh, a calligraphy, I do this. I think about the process in my mind, and I imagine my muscle movement. It's the same effect as you practice on paper with a brush. Now, modern days, everybody wants uh, to have exact, uh, the real brush, real paper. Everything actually is de determined by the nerve, and nerve will listen to the brain. Your brain is very fast. It, one, in one second, it will give uh, many, many thoughts and it commands. When, you, when your brush is on the paper, you must paint very fast. You must paint fast because your mind will, dis will distract it. You want to you will have a new idea if you paint slow. Then your hand is, doesn't know what to do. Uh, you think, oh, why uh, should I paint this? Is this good or that's? Is, should I paint it thick or thin? Good. Is this good or bad? Your hand will be hesitant. Don't listen to listen to whom. There are like a, there are too many directors, too too many commands. 
to be confused. So you must practice before you paint, and when you paint, you forget everything you learned, and just uh, do it. So in the past, the artist who does the uh, uh, landscape must live in the mountains, and uh, who uh, paint uh, monkeys must uh, live in the jungles. A person in Song Dynasty called Yi Yuanji, he painted monkeys. He lived in the jungle for 30 years, and he's become the best monkey painter. Jing Hao Guantong in the Five Dynasties lived in the northern mountains. So their brush stroke reflect the environment in the north. Dong Yuan lived in the south. The southern mountains has no rock, so his stroke are more earthy. The brush stroke are reflection of uh, the reality uh, where they live. Later, when our uh, art historian tried to identify those techniques, they cannot use numbers. They, they, they use uh, uh, a uh, descriptive name, like uh, the raindrop wrinkles, or uh, leaf vein strokes, or hemp. Uh, entangled uh, hemp rope texture strokes like this. So they use uh, names instead of uh, numbers. Jing Hao paints the Taihan mountain with the um, straight strokes. It's like an X cutting strokes. The artist. Do, did not have those techniques in their mind when they created it. They simply tried to convey what they feel about the natural. All the names are added by those historians later. So I have no painting um, technique, uh, name for my technique, painting technique. I don't want to name my uh, techniques. You don't want to bind yourself to certain um, names of uh, birth strokes because we are ever changing. People is ever changing. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. I, I try to capture the feeling of uh, his lecture. I hope um, it, it helped in the uh, in your practice. Okay, so we, uh, Victoria, can you give me some paper, please? So we're going to use a uh, um, round paper today, and you can uh, you can use a square paper to cut it. I, I think I showed you um, before, but that um, will create wrinkles, right? So you know how to do that. Uh, the, the cut either the, the half fan or the, the whole fan. If you cut the circle, you'll keep the center uh, point and just keep folding and then they cut it. So uh, you can also use a, uh, a large plate, I think, just like a, any, any round plate. And just draw a circle, okay? Um, we have some new products that Victoria um, provided for her calligraphy class and also uh, for us. So we're going to use, we have three different uh, paper here. One is pre-mounted. Um, and uh, two are same size, but uh, not uh, mounted. So I'm going to use uh, one of these, I think. This is white one. To do this one. Um, should I put this on the, on the corner, just like this? Maybe just like this, huh? 
Let's see if I cannot enlarge this. Let me put this on the side. I have a PDF file with all the high resolution. Um, was, I think this is too big. This is the word. I'm opening this uh, handout you, you got. Uh, oops. Yeah, here. This is the, the PDF, it's a, it has the scan there, so you can use. Um, so immediately, we can tell this is a Tai Chi, the Yang, or Yin. Okay, it's only a name, so don't... Um, so you can also call this Yang, this would be Yin. This Yin, uh, this Yang, this uh, sky would be Yin. So, uh, it doesn't matter, just uh, to, uh, if you can call it a dark and a light, okay, or black and a white, the same thing, right? <clears throat> so um, we'll follow his method. It, it, that's the general idea. So when we paint, we don't copy, we can just, uh, um, Paint according to the, um, you, you might, you know, have a, like a, a mental representation, just take a picture in your mind, in your brain. So you, you uh, then you try to paint from memory. If, uh, if you forgot something, you, you're allowed to cheat, to go back to the reference, okay? Should I turn off the reference? We can just do this. Okay. I'm not sure if I should do it without it, but let, let's do this in practice. Because uh, um, I have done this uh, painting. Usually uh, after I uh, paint several times, you know, we can use a small paper to do a sketch or uh, just a, uh, because this, uh, I don't want to waste the good paper. So maybe we can draw a small painting to see if we memorize it. Let me just put it, put it away. Assume you, you don't see it. And then we use uh, just the ink to do a no tan study. No tan means yin yang or nong dan, you know, black and white. In Japanese, they call it a no tan. Actually, you only need, um, later I will explain the tonality, but for now I just uh, uh, draw a uh, Tai Chi. So if we, like he said, the strategy is uh, Tai Chi. So you can have left and right. Sometimes you see the Tai Chi look like this, you know, vertical. But the, the standard way, as I mentioned earlier, is originated from the observation of uh, the sun, move, uh, the shadow movement on the, um, on the ground. So it looked like, like this, right? So basically we, we, we use uh, this composition and then uh, the yin and the yang um, coexist, right? So we'll have this uh, uh, this tree roughly here. I think it's it's sort of like a uh, a movement. So the something if we just paint or in solid. You want to see the sample? I want you to practice the uh, memory. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I put it, okay. And, uh,
So that's basically uh, the composition and uh, there are uh, some light mountains behind. That's, that's the general idea of this, okay. So uh, then we look at, uh, uh, let's just have this first. So th this, I try to illustrate the yin yang first. So this, but the holes in it, okay. But basically you, in your mind, you should have a idea of a uh, dark against light like this, but there are also light within the dark. So let's uh, uh, let's do that. I'm going to keep this thing on my table also. Yeah, I can do both. So, whoops, it's weird. This is the, the uh, handout. You can have it uh, printed out if you like. <clears throat> okay, the, the tree basically is young uh, or black, whatever you, uh, you name it. But uh, I use a um, bamboo arcade okay, brush. I, I think you can also use this. Uh, uh, I call it a mass dot brush. You can use basic stiff brush also. So, uh, anything so it's stiff, okay. I just use pure ink. Let me get a scissor. Later I will dilute it. So at the first I just use uh, <clears throat> So if we if we divide the uh, if we find the center of the, the circle, and then uh, this tree is on the on the left side, and lower lower quarter, a lower left quarter, right? It's smaller than that actually. So I'm going to do this uh, tree first in the front. So this is black, then I will start to uh, to the rock, maybe. Yeah, that's behind. So it starts about uh, in, uh, low, a little lower than half here. But the, notice the, the uh, diagonal. It can go slow. and vary the sections of uh, uh, each, the length of each section. The good thing about this round is that uh, you can still uh, shift a little bit. <laughs> There's no, uh, but when, when you sign it, it become uh, very settled. But before that, you can still uh, twist a little bit. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. <clears throat> so it didn't go outside the frame here, right? And you can you can do a, a small one right away next to it. That kind of uh, create a, 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 a balance. So that's a second to large and small balance, all right? And you can start to do the middle, but I will concentrate on the top, I think. So that, that's an initial uh, setup for, for two trees, one old, one young, maybe. And then uh, the top has this branch going outward um, and slightly up, that, that's the upward tendency he talked about, right? 
spread out on the on the but not not equivalent the two sides one side is uh, against uh, the rock because uh, it's more shady you know so you uh, you want to indicate the tendency towards the sun don't have to count all the branches if you become the tree you understand the tree you can you can make it to more uh, natural so the crown is like an umbrella on top and then uh, there's a middle branch another umbrella that follows the or original tendency to begin with yeah and then uh, just i echo the same that kind of create a negative shape there and uh, it goes to the a little bit to the left and then to the right it has a little z kind of shape there uh, this one is a should be a little lower so make sure it's lower it has a i start to paint the the needles he doesn't really do the needles it, it, it make the brush uh, a little flat it just started like that so it, that saves a little bit uh, time to do all the branches behind but still you want to show the branch under it that that's uh, that transparency translucency you might call it, to see through it's almost like a very realistic uh, silhouette picture of a pine it's very it, this pine is really realistic although he did it maybe just from his mind you know from his impression or feeling the understanding of the um, natural tree. It doesn't really paint it, uh, individual uh, specific trees of, uh, or rocks like other artists to do. Like, you know, um, he, he always creates his uh, trees, but looks very uh, authentic. A large group, a medium and a small, always vary the size. And the dry and the uh, light behind, yeah, a little bit. The branches is a, uh, has a lit, uh, little space be between the, the, the leaf or the needles and the, the branch, right? So that's that little white spaces, the shape of those space are very uh, interesting to, to leave. That's a characteristic of uh, the pine, the see-through branches. You know, the needles actually is not blocking the view. It's very important. And, uh, so generally, Uh, this actually the large group, this shape is behind, but it's the largest umbrella kind of shape, or mushroom shape, whatever you call. It's pretty dry to get the texture. A little bit. Okay. And then uh, this little one has this bending, just like children following the mother. Same tendency towards the left. The crown is pretty flat. This is uh, uh, considered semi-sized 
it's not uh, uh, very dark because it's not absorbent. So you, to get it dark, you have to repeat sometimes. You don't have to if you use a uh, uh, unsized paper. I think I confused a little bit. This is a branch, a dead branch or something. Let me make it clear. Okay. So this is a um, the front tree. Maybe branches there. Maybe behind. <clears throat> okay. You can change a brush if you want. Um, instead of wash it out, let me just, because I'm going to use it for the other trees behind. Okay, uh, at this point, I'm going to use uh, uh, maybe a, a combination brush. I try to, to uh, paint other rocks. So the loading is very important not to have a uh, single tone, but uh, has a little gradation. So I, I dilute the ink first with a little water. And then I dab a little dark to make a darker gray to the front. Okay. You can do this uh, rock uh, immediately behind. I think I just realized my tree is a little too high. So too, uh, too high right? than the original. So I must adjust accordingly. <laughs> so um, this is like a half. It should be one third. OK. So. Um, I will I'll put this rock to the right because this has to do with yin yang because this is too much yin. If I copy exactly like that, it will be too much yang. So uh, I would move the tree back a little bit. So make that tree a little behind. So I I adjusting my so yours might be different. Yours may be different than mine. So yin yang actually uh, is changeable constantly. So I kind of like zoom in a little bit. I still keep that uh, relationship between the two trees. So I'm going to do this. Uh... So look at the whole picture when you do a part of it. You said you have to paint fast because too much thoughts interferes your rhythm. This is like a full kitchen, uh, X cut strokes in Northern school. And here's the yin yang also. This is, uh, so you don't want to fill in all the, the uh, parts. So there's too much uh, white. I add a little uh, dark to adjust that. Okay. Oh, I 
think I better use the same brush and make uh, this tree a little bit. Uh, uh, let's see, I yeah, I have to adjust the size. Okay. See if I can keep that posture. You push, push against the, the they actually move. You talked about the, the tendency of uh, growing up and the gravity interplay in the stroke. You feel the two forces, right? I just, It's very uh, the the pine needles on the top of the mountain are usually very short. Short. He he had captured that feeling. Very flat, in other words. <clears throat> There's some grouping I, I missed, uh, so there should be some grouping here. A large grouping on top. On the tip here, okay, just a, a flatten the brush a little bit. It's easier to do like that. Yeah. Look at the profile is more important than uh, the outer shape, the profile the uh, silhouette. Very flat, okay. okay. I don't have much room for those uh, trees. Just a suggestion maybe, have some distant trees. In and out, some horizontal lines like that. And then just add the little dots on top of the horizontal and some uh, under it is fine. Some cracks on the rock, just a suggestion. Dry brush suggests details. But keep it kind of pattern or rhythm. Some dots represent little bushes or things. Use a third brush if you want to clean, to use a um, very light ink to draw the distance. Really, it's like a, uh, maybe one to two or three great uh, value. Really light. So I have to reduce that size also, adjust it to my composition. And could be a little skyline of uh, distant mountains. Very light. It, it was behind, uh, higher than the tree, but I, um, I don't have room for that. So just to uh, overlap. Mm -hmm. 
some really light ones to to bring together the, the foreground what so the white clouds will show in the letter. But don't even don't even eliminate all the white. You need the flying white to suggest the texture of the, the rock. And the dark and against the light still. Yeah, I don't have much room to play with, I think. So just the uh, um, first attempt, I will call. And then we'll just sign very small notes. Small characters. It's too wet. I'll do it later, maybe. So this is my first attempt. We can try the same thing one more time. If you um, if you're still working on this, I'll give you more time. Okay, and I'll try to do this one more close to the. Composition. I think let me stand it standing so I can see the whole picture. So let me do this middle one first. I think that's maybe more important. This is the host and the guest. Okay, the the size matters. So you want to have a rough idea of how large it will be, and do the trunk first. Is it like a long horizontal arm stretch out? V or Y shape split and then some branches. You know, he mentioned something uh, going up again and at the end. It's like, uh, but generally, this is more level though, in this painting, so don't worry about the downward and the uh, <coughs> upward balance. So, the, I think it uh, has to do with the steel yard, the balance of. Uh, gravity horizontally, so it will show, you know, the still yet, yeah. So this is the, the gravity center is here, right? Some long, some short. Yeah, when I try to um, copy it, I lose the, the rhythm he's talking about. So it's uh, better to, to learn the philosophy, the idea behind, instead of copying the, the strokes. And even you copy the strokes, you understand the, the reason why. So you, you don't have to. Uh, repeat his mistakes or you're making you know mistakes violating usually violating those uh, principles behind if you use a smaller brush maybe this brush is a little bit too big into the big tree. My tree is again too big, I think. Uh, I have to adjust again. 
So this time, no, no, no space for the front tree. <laughs> it just happened. You know, you changing plan is really part of the game. So you cannot really, even I have the, you know, the copy, you still make a, this kind of mistake. You cannot uh, erase it and, and you have to commit to it. But as long as you, you know the Tai Chi um, is ever changing, um, philosophy, so you can adjust that according to the yin yang uh, balance, the idea of yin yang balance. Let's use light, one light, one dark, let's see if I can. Try to identify the the plan change, so shift of the yin and the yang. The the it's usually the you you shade or you you have the yin and yang contrast on, on one side of the contour, not on both sides, right? So your dark should go on one side, usually. One tall, one tall. It looks um, simple, but it's not, right? It's, it, you always, you, so that's why it's a uh, um, Kung Fu, you know, art. It requires repeated exercise. That's why we, we, um, we must practice on a daily basis, like a calligraphy to develop this kind of uh, uh, quick decision-making and uh, um, skill on your hand. So they, they work together more um, as we, more free, you know, more spontaneous. We, we must train our spontaneity to train to get the spontaneity, in other words. You know, we, it's a trend spontaneity, not a, just a paint without practice or training. Okay, this side, try to finish just one, one in yang, and we can do a small tree or just uh, um, make a clouds out of it. We can make it. I cut the top branch off. What about that? I just do the I can feel, you know, his uh, uh, struggling of that tree. <laughs> and when he can, it's a uh, little bit uh,
artificial, I think. Just like bonsai, you have to uh, bend the branches, uh, re redirect the branches, bonsai, you know, the, to, according to idea. I just read uh, a Japanese flower. Um, I just bought a new book I haven't read, actually, just uh, uh, one page <laughs> only, but uh, it's very helpful. Um, in the earliest flower arrangement art, uh, the Japanese artists uh, will cut the branches and then reshape, reassemble it. So there, there's no way the, 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 the tree, the pine branches can keep alive with water. They, they spray sake on, on the needles to keep it uh, moist um, with, you know, the, the alcohol will evaporate, leaving some uh, uh, some sugar, I think, to seal the uh, needle to to keep it uh, fresh for green for about uh, five days only. So that's how they do that. But in painting, we don't have to kill the, the tree. We can uh, we become the tree and then we grow like a tree in our painting. Okay, I I made too much uh, details. I maybe eliminate those to into, to harmonize it. I think it's for those details. So because this will not be the same style. This is a shitty part, like. I should have another branch here. You talk about alternation of the thick and the thin, black and white, something like that, will help. Just thinking about, uh, thinking about opposite to you fix um, when you follow up on the initial uh, rendition, you know, initial stroke, it's always uh, help to think the opposite. Okay. Now, this uh, final take. Let, let's uh, consider my practice. Okay. I did uh, one basic and uh, basically this one, and then I I tried to do this this tree, but uh, didn't have room for for that. So uh, let's I'll use a smaller brush. I use basic, basic, uh, basic three brush, uh, the basic wolf brush. Okay, this is smaller. So I, if I draw a diagonal here, it's roughly where the yin yang separates, like this here. I think that to just to keep all the rocks on the on this half, on this shady part. Look at my my hand on this side. Right. So I I keep that in mind. You know, I have some good student like Mary Dan in this class. She she always uh, have 
the best composition. Is uh, Mary here? Do you draw the, uh, the sketch with the charcoal? Yes, Hanno? We can yeah. maybe use charcoal, but uh, I try to follow his method. I'm not using sketch, so I feel more free. It's so about what, uh, third, that's the, the peak of this, this guy. And that's about it. Okay, my yan is on top, that's fine. I just painted the in under it. That's okay. Everything is interchangeable. Goes up against the movement. Goes down here, plowing to get the rough texture. This is another plan. Plant. Next cut. Okay, now I'm going to do that. I can do the either one. It's fine. So it's good to set the, the stage first. When I do the tree first, I don't have the the proportion that's the uh, reference of a uh, frame of reference so i better create this this time so this one is lower it's on this lower side it's not so high i just realized that so just barely above that that's the corner and you can tend to stay there just tentatively just have a feel it goes like a Z indicated the age, the diversity, the difficulty of a condition. You know, you have to grow uh, against uh, the pressure and the environment. Believe it or not, the tree doesn't grow from thick to, to uh, thing sometimes it, it has this uh, kind of sudden change yeah the the, the distance has to be correct i think i already passed the, the okay it's become too large okay let me do the crown first and control a little bit the shape of the tree. I think I'm, I'm I think too big again. But that's okay.
Oops. <laughs> Going outside the frame. Okay. Now the, the front tree. Greeting is very important. I don't have room for this small tree. I just only oh, there. Maybe we can just make a tree crossing like this. Okay, now the background. <clears throat> this is soft brush. It's light. Something between these two. Basically, there's no uh, detail on the, the, the no contour, a little bit, just on top. Keep the distant mountains small, we want it to. You know. 
Is water too soft and uh, even lighter, very light here above the mountain, right? Something like that. And this way. This is the horizon. You can use, it's almost clean water. So then you can use a dry brush to color it if it's too light. Just a little bit. Okay, now the, there's no wash actually. Um, you can you can add a little more you know, stroke if you want. Just uh, keep in mind that the, the the concept of uh, dark, dark and light planes or uh, dimensions. Some kind of masters of bush right here, suggesting some other plants. I think that's about it. The bush is uh, under the tree. Be suggested and some masters on the rock if needed. Again, don't copy you know, uh, every stroke. They try to understand the yin yang uh, function of the balance of it. Try to make the shape of the crown uh, a little bit um, nicer, maybe. And look at the whole thing when you do anything. Not just the one, but the, if you change one thing, the other part may be quite change as well. So it's very easy to overdo things in the end. Try to keep the momentum of the, the initial momentum. So I will say, fang or zhijing. Um, we, we can use homage to Shouping, Dong Shouping. He, he adapted his name uh, from a Qin Dynasty uh, artist, uh, Ying Shouping. He does actually flower and the birds painting, also landscape painting. Uh, but uh, uh, they focus on um, flower and birds, uh, bonus style, because a uh, contemporary artist, uh, one of the four ones, the Wang Shigu is his good friend who does the best landscape at the time. So he uh, avoids that field. Uh, same as Dong Shouping, he used to do flowers, but after he uh, met uh, uh, Wang Xue Tao, He's a good uh, flower and birds painting, painter and does a uh, beautiful peony. So he never painted peony again, Dong he, Xiaoping. He, he, he limited himself to uh, pines and uh, the four gentlemen. But not to like birds and the uh, birds and the uh, peony. Also because he thinks the uh, landscape is uh, more uh, expressionistic with uh, um, with a net, you know, natural with natural law or doll the, the birds. Anyway, I, I got a suggestion to do birds uh, study, birds master study. Really, there are not you know many. Uh, 
just to focus on birds or uh, landscape, they, you could, uh, but yeah, I'm considering that in the future to do another series. But maybe I would do something like this. Uh, we study one gentleman and then we study all the history of uh, that painting from like an orchid from Song Dynasty all the way to the uh, contemporary. So that's uh, possible, yeah. Uh, I'll say, Don Shouting, that's his name. I just copy his name, his signature. Should homage to Dong Xiaoping. And uh, this is not um, a small seal. Okay, that's the uh, class for today. All right, it's time. Um, the next class, I'm thinking to do some uh, Christmas cards uh, with watercolor, maybe you know, on rice paper, but mounted on cards uh, with uh, some uh, inspiration from uh, overseas Chinese, uh, American Chinese, artists, maybe, or European artists, if you, if you can find any. Uh, this is the water. I hope it's not, usually the last touch could be disastrous. Huh? Um, any questions and comments or suggestions? Thank you, Henry. You work so hard. That was a great class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, glad to know. It was great. I loved it. Thank you, Barbara.